Okay, new video, same idea. So I saw this problem in the workbook. It says find the indefinite integral of e to the x over e to the x plus 4. And again, went back and looked, and I'm starting to, right, we're supposed to be trying to recognize patterns here, and we know that d dx of ln of f of x is 1 over f of x times f prime at x. So with that little piece of information in mind, I look back here, and I wonder if this is f of x, would this be its derivative? And I think the answer comes back yes, doesn't it? So it looks like this is f prime at x, and this is f of x. So it gives us some idea of where we're heading. And where we're heading is to ln. First thing I'm going to do is some u substitution here. And I'm just going to substitute exactly what you think I am. It's going to say that u is equal to x, I'm sorry, e to the x power plus 4, and that du dx of course is just equal to e to the x put it into your calculator this is one of those weird ones that we had to memorize that the first derivative of e to the x is well e to the x and if it's true that way it's true backwards also so we're going to have this <clears throat> Ooh, golly i keep doing that sorry dx right dx and when when do i recognize that i've made that mistake well when i start to do this and i'm like oh what am i going to I'm looking for a replacement piece here. I'm going to multiply both sides of this by dx and get that du is equal to e to the x dx. And if you just want to take a look at this, I'm looking for a replacement piece. So here's that. dx. And I'm wondering, isn't this a good replace? Isn't this a good replacement piece? Isn't this a good replacement piece? For this and of course that too right so from there it actually gets pretty easy I think doesn't it do I want to do it that way I think that's yeah let's do it that way all right so just start doing a little bit of replacement here I'm gonna do that I'm gonna not screw this up I think if you don't mind and I'm gonna take this du right here is equal to this whole piece I'm gonna take this piece out e to the x dx, and I'm going to replace it with du. So as I start to rebuild, you get this du. I'm going to replace e to the x plus 4 uh, with u, right? So we have this. Don't we? This one came together really, really well, I think. Uh, this du, I was looking, if you're looking for it over here, but I am going to do a re, another rewrite here and just say, look, this is 1 over u du isn't it and this is where it becomes hopefully plain and obvious to everybody that this is an ln function isn't it this is a an ln function so all i'm going to do is just integrate this if you don't mind and say that because of this i recognize that this is ln of u ln of u well if i re replace if you will u with e to the power of x plus four plus C is my final answer. I think that one actually worked out really, really well. I, I hope that this is getting easier for you. Again, what is it we're trying to do here? We're trying to recognize what's going on. So in the same way that we were trying to recognize the chain rule before, and we look and we're like, oh my gosh, this outside piece in front of dx, that's the, that's the derivative of the inside piece. And we're trying to rebuild where we came from. We're trying to rebuild f of x. It's the same thing that's happening here. It's just we're looking for something a little bit different. So, okay, I, I think we're getting there. I really do. Um, I could ramble on because this video is only four minutes long, but I'm not going to. Maybe I am.